no one should be appointed to political office if he is a desperate seeker of power. And that's why I'm asking, federal character or merit? Nigeria's Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju said, government appointment should be determined by merit, not federal character. He was responding to criticisms of lopsided government appointments. Sir, Nigerians have always been for merit. In fact, some of us demand that round pegs be put in round holes. What we have a problem with is making it seem like people from the region of the president in power are always the only competent ones. Far from it. You may only know competent people in your own circles. Yes, that happens to the best of us. But once you get into government at the center, you must broaden your horizon, widen your net, not just to be seen to be fair, but also to get the best hands to help the government better serve the country. Now, some people may say previous governments are as guilty. Yeah, I agree. But it must stop. If every region of Nigeria is, a, is as important as all the other regions, there must be justice and equity in government appointments. That's why we are a federation after all. Nigeria's chief justices in the last eight years have been from the north, except Walter Onogen, 2017 to 2018. He was accused of not declaring all his assets and was replaced by Ibrahim Tanko Muhammad who was roused from retirement just before the general elections in 2019. Yusuf Magajibichi is the Director General of the Department of Security Services. He was appointed from retirement also. Following the prompt sacking of Lawal Musa Dara, a northerner by acting president at the time, Bushibaju, for the invasion of the National Assembly by DSS operatives, Matthew Seifa, who has made the acting DG, did not stay in office beyond the month because he was a total outsider to President Buhari's kitchen cabinet. He's from Bayelsa State. In a bid to douse public criticism at the removal of Machu Seifa, who was expected to retire from service in July 2019, Bichi, who had long retired from service, was sold as a core secret service operative. Those were his merits. But Nigerians believe that the events of Friday 7 December 2019 at Justice Ijoma Ojuku's court at the Federal High Court Abuja rivaled the DSS's invasion of the National Assembly complex on August 7, 2018. The invasion of the courtroom to rearrest Omoye Elishore, who was released on bail just 24 hours earlier, brought back public apprehensions of the president's penchant for appointing service chiefs who read his body language well. Former Minister of Finance, Kemi Adioshun, was criticized by Nigerians from all regions, particularly those of us from the South, for presenting a forged NYSC certificate. She resigned. But who was she replaced with? Ajia Zainab Ahmed. No competent accountants nor financial pundits from Kemi Adioshun's state of origin, Ubun State, I guess. Now, We've stopped subsidizing subsidies that the President Buhari said were formerly non-existent. Yet, there's still a quota system in place that ought to allow everyone in regions across Nigeria get into our public schools, regardless of how poorly they perform in some of those regions. And also give a fair chance for every Nigerian home and abroad to be employed into federal parastatals. While it has been alleged that the jobs in CBN and NNPC are reserved for a privileged few, it also seems the highest jobs are reserved for personal friends of any president in power. President Jonathan in 2014 spent over 7 billion naira to convene a national conference at which he didn't allow the participants discuss if Nigerians wanted to stay together after 100 years of the amalgamation of the Northern and Southern protectorates. We would have been able to table some of these issues then. Then again, most of the submissions of that conference haven't been put to good use. In fact, the current president wasn't even keen on it. Will Nigeria grow like this? If Nigerians are looking for solutions in the wrong place, as stated by Minister of Works and Housing, Raji Fashola, then maybe some states should be allowed to control their own resources and pay taxes to the federal government. So we won't care who is appointed to share the country's small resources at the center. At 60, when will Nigeria mature?